Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. It's, it's game, game day. day. I'm Scarlett. And I'm Izzy. Stay in tune for yesterday's soccer results and an important message from Mr. Hutton. But first, to weather with Chris. Thanks, Ms. Scarlett. Today there's going to be a high of 84 and a low of 67. There's a 20% chance of rain, so it's unlikely, but we may see scattered showers. That's it for weather. Now back to the studio with Isaac. Thanks, Chris. So lines 1 and 2 are chicken smackers with Asian or Toso sauce. Line 3 is salad bar, no soup today. Line 4 is extravaganza and 4x6 pizza. And line 5 is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Pedro Lopez Hernandez and our very own Mr. Olson. Now to sports with Alyssa. Thanks, Ms. Scarlett. The girls' golf team played against Crawfordsville and Hamilton Heights last night. The Lady Hot Dogs came away with a pair of victories, firing in 192, followed by the Huskies 204 and Athenians 218. Sydney Caesar earned her fourth low medalist honor of the season, being all players with 45. The varsity ended the regular season conference schedule with six wins against one loss. Great job, ladies. The team will travel to Tits and play the Blue Devils, but in Central Bulldogs on Tuesday. The boys' soccer team traveled to play Eastern in regular season play. The hot dogs fell to the Commons 3-0. Solid play from senior Edgar Garcia Hernandez, junior Christian Macias, and junior Noel Mora were the highlights for the hot dogs. Frankfurt will travel to Lebanon on Tuesday to resume conference play. The girls' soccer team took on Northwestern Tiger Club. Both teams managed to turn away fantastic attempts of opposing forwards with 10 minutes left in the second half. Ari Regalado scored the first and last goal of the game, leaving the score 1-0. The Lady Hot Dogs are now 4 and 1 on the The next game will be Tuesday against South. And good luck to the football team as they travel to Tri West, as well as the tennis team as they will be taking on Dam. That's all for sports. Now back to Isaac. Thanks, Alyssa. There's Hooligans auditions today from 3 to 5. See Mr. Taylor for any questions. If you like books and if you like bagels, Lunchtime Book Club is now Books and Bagels. The first meeting will take place at the end of September during SRT, and the first book will be Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Stop by the library to learn more, sign up, and get the first book. Any band student that is not in band currently, but would like to attend Purdue Band Day next Saturday, see Mr. Hutton today. Sorry Hutton, no hard feelings. Again, don't forget about the cheer fundraiser. Orders are due September 5th. And don't forget to check out Ms. Bacon's interview on our channel made by our own production. There's a sweet surprise at the end of the video. Now to College Career Coach with a message regarding scholarships. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Ms. Stanley, a College Connection Coach. Today we're going to talk about scholarships. I know for a lot of you underclassmen, you feel like, oh, I should already be doing this. I should be filling out scholarships. Everyone is telling me how important it is. But realistically, there's not really any scholarships for you. They really don't open up until you're an upper class. And really, for juniors, it's just a local scholarship you can start applying for. Clinton County Scholarship. 4-H, FFA, and those you can find in Ms. McGuire's office. Now seniors, this is really your time to shine. For scholarships, you can apply for the Clinton County ones or go online and find scholarships. Now at my table, I have this sheet. Feel free to come by and it shows you five different databases that go around and they find all the scholarship money and put it in one place for you. Good luck, hot dogs. That's it for the daily announcements. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest updates regarding hot dog news and sports. And remember, it's, it's game, game day. day. <laughs>